Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Moonstone Mamas. My name is Devin. And if this is your first time here with us today, hi, hello, how are you? And if you're a returning subscriber, so glad that you're here with us today. Um, I have a very fun special lot and I figured that while I was talking, I can open up my new loop because um, the other day my daughter got a hold of my other loop and somehow or another she magically uh, made it explode. So here's my new loop in all of its glory and that is one bright light. So we're gonna be, I have my husband here with me today, Moonstone Papa, unofficial Moonstone Papa. I have my ruler here, I have my mandrel, um, I have my scissors, you saw my loop, and I have a few um, jewelry pliers and stuff, and then some boxes that I'm gonna use to sort out my, my loot. But I got this box off of Shop Goodwill, and it was one of those that I kind of paid up for. Um, you know, as a reseller, you, you want to be able to have stock and stuff, and sometimes it's nice to do mystery boxes, and then it's sometimes, sometimes nice, or a lot of times nice, if you can afford it, to get, um, items that you know are worth the money if you spend a little bit more at one time. So, um, this is one of those times. I may have done this one other time. Um, and as always, I like to open up, um, this on camera so you guys know that I'm not, um, rigging the box, padding the box, and then of course I'm going to hide my address here. So I got a seven pound plus Southwest style costume jewelry lot. So I ended up paying up for this, like I said, uh, but from the pictures, I think, I think I definitely can turn this around. So let's go ahead and get started. Your first sneak peek in all of its seven Southwest pound glory. glory. So here it is, Southwester style costume jewelry lot, seven plus pounds. All right, let's put this off to the side-ish, we have a, at one time, clean piece of paper, and let's go ahead and see what kind of magic we can pull out of here. So this appears to be earrings and some rings and stuff, so I'll go ahead and put this right over here and we'll open it later. I'll just start digging inside the bag because I can just imagine this will probably take the most time because, oh my gosh. Okay, so we already have a casualty, which is sad. But um, this, this just looks like silver tone. And um, I found a new love, which is a quick setting epoxy. So I'll definitely be able to fix this. This is a very nice hammered cuff. It's pretty, it's pretty nice. Uh, you know, I thought I had everything, but I don't have my magnet. I put it away like a ding-dong. So I'll run this under the magnet. Oh, my wonderful husband gets it for me. Um, this is just, it feels like plastic beads to me. Okay, so this is silver tone. But that's okay. These just, like I was saying, look like, um... Plastic beads. They are cold, so maybe that they're glass. I don't know. At least these are, they might be glass, they might be, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to do some research about this, but it feels like it's on some kind of cord. I don't know if I'm gonna check that out. If it's leather or whatnot. If it's not real leather, it's pleather. Pleather. Plastic leather. This is a cool one. Oh yeah, you can tell by the end of it. That's leather? It's, uh, someone made it in a uh -huh. factory. Oh, okay. And not off of a cowhide. Oh, right on. Well, good to know. This is a bronze colored costume piece. Very nice. It's got some dyed howlite to look like 
turquoise. And then of course, as per traditional Southwest, a lot of times you'll see like turquoise and coral. So this is meant to look like that with an ombre effect. I think it's actually really pretty. Uh, and it does appear to have a double lobster claw clasp, so maybe it was fixed at one point or, or that's the style, but either way, this is in excellent condition. Maybe it's meant to be versatile. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Ooh, we have a clamper? No, it's just uh Welded into it. Yeah, oh, I think it's meant to look, oh, so it's like aged. It's like um, that kind of style. Meant to look rustic. Because none when I rub my finger over it, none of the paint comes off on my finger. So I think it's just meant to look like it's patina That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, it's meant to look like it was uh, leather. Yeah. With the texturing. So there's probably going to be uh, yeah. a bit of tangled mess, as you can see this massive... Oh wow, okay, if you saw that my camera shook, it was because this humongous pendant was in, just whacked the camera. Ooh, it does have a tag on it. Tag says, Burju, Buju, Burju, Turner, Turner. Um, this is a nice one. This is, feels like possibly resin beads, these feel like glass. This is a nice long one. <gasps> Ooh, do we have a bolo? Bijou. Bijou. What did I say? Bijou? I don't know. I don't know. Bijou I just... Turner with the T E R, not T U R A. Look at you. Uh, I have heard of that brand before. I just. Um... Ooh, this is like a choker style. What's happening here? Oh, it's turned around. Here you go. Hello. Ooh, this is pretty. Very nice, very cute. And it has a lobster claw clasp. Maybe this meant to go on here. It does have, whether that's wear to it or marker, I'm not 100% certain, but I'll give it a wash and see how it goes. But this is cute. This is nice. That's really great. Um, I've got a smidge bit of a tangle. And I was really trying to get at that bolo tie. We'll tear it up. Yeah. But, um, let's see how it goes here. See if I can find. I always uh, very much enjoy when people untangle theirs. And I always think, oh my gosh, time's ticking, time's ticking. No one's going to want to see me untangle something. So, um, let's see here. This one doesn't appear to have any tag, but look at that that's gorgeous it is dirty um but golly gee willikers that's gorgeous i don't know if this is enamel natural stone it feels cold but who knows it's like a mosaic but it's very very cute in an amazing condition this is the bolo oh my gosh so cool. Someone literally spent the time doing all of this. Amazing. Amazing. Gorgeous. And this is like paracord. It's really, really nice condition. No, this is just braided fabric. Paracord oh. is meant to be oh, taken it's, apart. It's braided fabric. What Very is this? Very soft leather. Or that's, why I'm, that's why I want to know. It's either... This one has a tag. It's, it feels like something you can get from the craft store. Okay. So, sorry. Claire's. It, but it smells like real leather. Well, then maybe it is real leather. If it smells like a duck and quacks like a duck. It maybe. means I farted. <laughs> okay. Um, so we have some red um, with like a gunmetal color, like a lariat style necklace very cute amazing condition it does appear to be missing one rhinestone here but i mean really if someone's going to be looking that close at your business they need to be a lover it feels like a sorry going back to this it, it this feels bolo. like shoelaces shoelace. don't say that no for like the work boots 
Okay. It, it's brand new. Yeah, so. it feels great. In my opinion, yeah. it feels great. Let's just like argue about this one yeah, bolo. Yeah, let's just spend 45 minutes on this beautiful I was trying to bolo. think of how Here. I remember this. It's like work boots, uh, shoelaces. Work boots. This is... Did you already show this one? I did. I showed both of them. This is a long one. This feels like it's... Let's go ahead and give it an ASMR sound. It feels and sounds like it's wood. It's a long one. It's a three layered. And it's nice. This it's, reminds me of the wood on the kids toys uh, that you make the loops and the swoops and the... <laughs> loops and swoops. Yeah, the one that I kicked and almost went through the front oh, window because yeah. I tripped over it. Yeah, those ones where they learn the shapes. One's Either square, way, one's round. Um, they're, it's cute. And then some of them have like a rose carved out of them. That's nice. This is this is nice. All in all, I'm very pleased with my purchase thus far. Um, I'm not mad in the least bit. Um, this looks like. It's interesting for one thing. Maybe it's missing the. I don't know. It looks kind of like. It looks kind of like Laramar, in my opinion, but maybe it's enamel to made to look like Laramar. But this is pretty. It doesn't have. It doesn't appear to have any markings on it. But it's pretty. It's nice. Holy. <laughs> And let me just push this aside here. And I feel like it has some kind of... Like a slight pull. Like a slight pull? I don't know. Why don't you give that a try while I look at something else because I'm, I'm an eager beaver. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> it would help if I had it on the right. No. Uh, uh, this is a nice one too. Gold tone. This kind of reminds me of Full Moons. It's very nice. Oh, and I can put my finger like underneath these so they're not like on here. This is interesting and it doesn't pick up on a magnet, but my guess it's like brass or something. It's kind of, it's got a little bit of a give to it. I don't know. Here, I'm going to think about that. Ooh, look at this honka honka. Whoa, okay, here we go. So the extender has a feather on it, which is really cool. And then check that out. Ooh business. Let's see if I can find the right side. Wowzers. Okay, that's the other side. Because the rhinestones go in that direction. So this is gorgeous. This is a beautiful gold color. Very, uh, very yellow gold. Yellow, yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And, um, has rhinestones. This couple missing so. oh well sorry bummer well no 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 that's good that you pointed that out because if someone were like looking at this and like salivating at the thought of wearing it yeah. they have an idea of hey it's missing one it just happened to be right yeah them. but i mean all in all this is a beautiful colored necklace it's beautiful gorgeous okay so we have some more this is very lightweight um this looks like it has that patina on it as well like they the, like a modified patina like a blue color but it's very beautiful very gorgeous who is this a stretch a very tight stretch um looks like there's absolutely no wear on it definitely southwestern if i had to pick a genre to stick this in jewelry wise very nice Ooh, um, a hammered gold tone cuff. Ooh, very tight. Um, silver tone. Gold or tone. gold tone. This is, this is really pretty. All in all, I'm just jazzed that all of this stuff looks really nice. Made in India. So my mom recently purchased um, a Southwest style one as well because she's into this kind of stuff as well. And it's funny how sometimes the Southwest kind of style, um, people kind of mistake like the India kind of style um, for, for Southwest because they share a lot of the same attributes. Um, but you can tell how someone would mistake this to be Southwest um, 
but this is more. Yes, yeah, somebody at Shop Goodwill is like, oh, these colors match. No, color. yeah, I know, but oh, I'm but just saying you, it's no, no, interesting to me. But somebody has to really look at the details to yeah. sort it out. This is beautiful um, with the Rivoli pear shaped rhinestones. It doesn't appear to be missing anything, which is really great, and it looks like it's in really nice condition. So that's great. This is like one of those things that like you can take on vacation with you if you would rather not wear your sterling silver bangle on vacation but still want to look smart, I guess. Classy. Yeah, if, you, if you lose it, it's it's okay, but you want to look good in the Ooh, pictures. this is heavy. Um, I guess that maybe this is pewter? I don't know. That's interesting. Could be. It has that, it has the look of pewter. It's beautiful. Very nice. Here you go, good sir. <gasps> what do my eyes see? My goodness. Okay, so I had one of these and it was more of an eagle. This, this looks like, I don't know, but the one I had uh, before was pewter and I do believe by the feel of this that this is pewter as well but this one's slightly different than the last one that I had um, and this this is nuts this is just a literal work of art gorgeous wow okay um, oh my goodness me look at that oh wow okay so literally from the bottom to the top the literal detail that went into it. Okay, so this is stitched and these are ice cold. I do believe that these are some kind of agate, quite possibly, they might be dyed. Um, you can have a general idea if something is dyed, especially it's easier to tell when um, they're a bead. So you can kind of see the inside of them. I don't know if you can see like the inside of there. Um, it has a little bit of white to it. After I wash, it'll take a better look, but this is beautiful. This is stunning. This is just, I mean, this bead as well. This is gorgeous. So it's got some cold, cold features. It's not vintage because it has a lobster claw clasp, but um, all in all, just beautiful piece. And I'm gonna give this a smell. And I don't know, it doesn't, I don't know. But this is beautiful. I mean, can you even imagine wearing something like this? This is gorgeous. No. Ooh, this one's too high. The price sticker on it, made in China. Ooh. Oh. Interesting. So it's a wraparound cuff. Gosh, this is business. Whoa, wow. I guess it's dyed how light? Just by the, the striations in here. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's a gold tone um, cuff bangle. Very cute, the rhinestones attach and the feather or leaf is nice. Doesn't appear to have a lot of wear, which is great. Um, look at that. Wow, okay, that's a beast. Uh, and it has a tag on it that says made in China, right on. Um, and then another one that is like a mask, like that's the nose, and those are the eyes. I don't really know, if anyone knows, gladly, uh, Gladly let us know in the comments down below. And guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Um, we do um, Monday, Moonstone, Moonstone Mondays. Mondays, marvelous Moonstone Mondays, where we do jewelry auctions, we have giggles, we have funs, we have laughs. I'm also on with Jennifer Layton on Jennifer Layton's channel Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I do sell the jewelry that you see and sometimes I go out and hunt for jewelry at flea markets and stuff like this. This is gorgeous and it's just fantastic. 
it to feels touch. great. Yeah. It feels it's so beautiful. And just, I mean, take a gander at all those beads. Someone literally spent the time to make this pattern and complete it and even beat up the end here, which is adjustable. We have like the one, two, three, four different lengths to make this adjustable. That's beautiful. This is nice. It's just, it's gonna sit and talk and just. Okay, so we have a woven bangle in a beautiful blue turquoise color with the orange to kind of simulate the traditional Southwest, which is the turquoise and the coral. Um, but unfortunately, it's got a little bit of lifting going on here. I'm certain that I could probably snip it and just disclose, hey, that was coming up there a little bit. But um, all in all, this is an amazing shape. This is great. Um, the next one I'm gonna touch is this one, which this, I don't know. Um, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's not cold or anything. I don't know if it's wood and it has kind of like a finish onto it. I'm not 100% certain. And then those beads are beautiful. My goodness. With some copper, and I do believe that these are natural stones. I believe that's possibly jasper. I don't know. This is an interesting one for sure. Um, and then it's on a humongo chain with a lobster claw. Very interesting. I'm going to run my magnet over these for funsies just to see about. Yeah, so it is picking up the copper. That's interesting. That's an interesting one. I'm definitely gonna have to take a gander at that at a later time because this is it's a lot going on on here, but it's really cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, look at this guy. Holy smokes! Whoa! Can you even imagine? So like you'd think that this would weigh like a hundred pounds, but it doesn't. This I think they're hollow. Costume. Yeah, oh. they're hollow. I'm saying that's definite costume. Oh yeah, it it kind of like it. It's nice. Um, here's the back of it. Like it looks like it possibly hasn't been worn. This is like a suede, and then it has. Oops. Oh, it's a like a tie. Uh, it doesn't have like a clasp. It's just like a, a knot tie, and it's M W M W. I'm gonna have to look that up for more information. Not 100% certain, but this is next level plus it, it makes a killer sound. All right, thanks, Helpy Helper. Sorry. No, it's okay. I'm thinking. Oh, these yeah, are yeah, a bunch of stretch. And here, yeah, it's a bunch of stretches. This is nice because I do believe that we have some, maybe some natural elements um, maybe some glass beads because I do feel the coldness, if that's a proper jewelry jargon term. Their temperature, they're cold. And let's go ahead and, yeah, so they're just silver tone, but they're, they're pretty and they have a nice stretch to them. So many a time I've stretched and have Okay. Ooh, this is so pretty. So I do believe this is like a hand-painted bead, and this has seed beads. And these, yeah, so spring ring. Pretty. This is just a cute, dainty little guy. And if you hear all the chaos, it's my husband being a really awesome dude by untangling for me. So this is India-inspired for sure. This is like um, an, more of an India type rather than a Southwest. My guess would be that this is Howlite. Um, there's one other one that starts with an M. I always want to say manganese, but that's not at all accurate, but it starts with an M. But this is gorgeous, and it doesn't appear to be missing um, any of these wooden um, spacers. Yeah, it does right here. Right here, it's missing one. Dang it but I mean, it's still really cool. 
There's that. Let's see here. Um, looks like it's a piece of... If it's silver tone, then it's probably Howlite. Thing that's picking up is is the chain. So I don't know. I'm gonna test this. Um, it has pretty dark matrixing. I, you know, I get like a hundred. I'm like, oh yeah, I know the difference between turquoise and Howlite. But sometimes it stumps you. You know, you never know. My guess is this is probably Howlite. That's my guess to that. But it has a spring ring clasp, which is not sterling silver, as it sticks to a magnet. So this is one of the, one of those ones that I'm going to test out. Um, this is nice. This is like a staple piece that I would be glad to get in my collection. Uh, it has a spring ring clasp. It's just one of those. It's a nice one. It looks like it might have had something dangle at one point. Maybe we'll find that at the bottom of the box. Um, but if not... This is a nice piece. Hang your eyeglasses on them. Possibilities are endless. Holy smokes, look at this one. This is pretty. Uh, cool, 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 cool. So this is a dream catcher and it appears to be liquid silver. Um, at first glance, that's what it looks like. But, um, this may not be liquid silver because this has a lobster claw clasp. The ones that I've seen that end up being liquid silver um, have a barrel clasp. So I'm gonna go ahead and move all of my husband's hard work. Stick yeah. this down here so that everyone can see me run a magnet through it. So it might have been that the barrel clasp, clasp might have been um, fixed and replace with a lobster claw clasp. But my guess would be that this is nickel silver, um, which has a high content of silver in it, um, but it's not quite 925 sterling silver. So um, all in all, still great fun. All in all, moving on. Um, this is nuts. This is a choker style if, if I had to guess in really great condition, like fantastic condition. I mean, can you even imagine wearing something like this? That's gorgeous. That's like, <clears throat> hey, look at me. Yeah. And then the person who does see it says, hey, check that person out. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. It's an excellent condition. This one here, oh man, it's missing a tiger's eye. But you know what? Yeah, it might be in the bag. Yeah, it's it the... might be in the bag or yep. I have, it That's is, nice. Look at you, good job. Each one has a hole like it was supposed to go to something else. Yeah, it does, but that's okay. That's fine, I'm um, just saying. It might have, whoops. Um, it might have been like, an, like a piece that someone repaired and decided to do it and add natural stones to it, or this is the way that it's supposed to be. I'm not sure, either way, I'm gonna go ahead and fix it um, and see how it goes. It's, uh, it's nice enough doesn't appear to be missing anything else other than this guy. Do we have a repair jar going? Yeah. <laughs> um, I have, I do believe I still do have something like this in my collection. Um, well, in my Possession. bunch. Yeah. yeah, in my stuff. Um, so this is nice, this is a nice one. And the, the seed beads in the center, very, very, very pretty. You put it right in front of me and I wanna grab for it. I know. Uh... I want to touch it. This has literally been, this box has been sitting on my kitchen table for longer than it should ever have been sitting on my kitchen <laughs> table or, or counter. Um, I, but the anticipation always kills me, but I had to wait for the proper time with the children going down and whatnot to be able to really focus on all of this. Cause otherwise you're editing for like half the video. Yeah. Is the kids hours. screaming and asking about something. Yeah. Um, this has seen better days. This looks like it has been worn. Um, this is one of those that, uh, this is like one of the first ones that I've seen that I might say this might go in the bin because if someone were a crafter, I don't think that they could utilize the back of these. I mean, this, 
the gold over has been rubbed off, rubbed off, rubbed off by someone wearing and loving this. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. Um, so I don't know. Ooh, this one right here caught my attention. Um, this is stunning. This feels like it could be wood. I don't know, but this is stunning. And then it appears to be some kind of fabric cord tied in a knot at one point. But here it is. Beautiful. Very nice. Um, here's look at the ones that have been sitting here the longest. Ooh, this is nice. This, this is definitely dyed hot white. See that? Someone has worn this and has rubbed the dye off. And so these are dyed halite chunks. Very nice. And it appears to be a toggle clasp. Very nice. And what does this say? Alm Soho. A L M Soho. Very nice though. Um beautiful, actually. Okay. Final bag. I forgot about the stuff. Nope. I did. You didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. I was wondering why there's no rings. Duh. There's no rings. Yeah. Um, this is Natasha. Sorry, I keep moving the thingy, the table. These are silver tone, but very pretty. Oops. These are two, they feel like silver tone. Plus they're, they're attached. Ballet jewels, size seven, interesting. Shoulder dusters. <laughs> More like armpit dusters. Yeah, really. These are nuts. My elbow that. dusters? Yeah. I should have said elbow head, dusters. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. I love the smell of head and shoulders. Ooh, this is pretty. This is just, it's cold, but. My guess is that it's enamel, but very nice. Cool. What's a, what's it adjustable. Yeah, adjustable. Oh, I was like, this is a funky one. But they're two separate ones. Whoa, whoa. Zip one. Clip on. Super tarnished. I wonder if these are silver plated. They don't stick. But they have a very worn out look. <laughs> yeah, like they might be silver. I'm not certain. These are gorgeous. Wow we No, this is like not. Yeah, it's like... Wow. 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 And that's a clip-on? That's a clip-on. How much is it? I mean, how much is it weigh? Like, you're a human scale. You didn't know I'm a human scale? Yeah, I forget. Let me untap that power for you. Um, this, I'm going to test this, because these are natural stones in here. Holy smokes. That's nuts. Oh. Old testy westy. Got a... I can't say testy. You can be testy when you're um, when you're sparky or spunky, right? You're a testy. Sure. I think this is. It has the added like for like patina, verdigris patina to it. 
I don't think that these are like green, like verdigris. I think because it has like the same kind of finish as like this does. So I think this is like the style. Yeah, it's not like a. Oh my goodness. It's not like a sitting in water. It just nickel like, silver bell, like from a bell trading post. Sick. This is nice. So this is nickel silver. So this is not. It is still silver. It just has low. Silver low amounts content. of silver content. Very sick. Ooh, oh, these are nice. Usually you find them in their feathers are all. Yes. Um, I'm gonna put it in the over here or with the earrings and ring. Over there in the, in the pendant bunch. Usually you find these in like the feathers are all, like. Mangled. Yeah, like the chicken or turkey go. Yeah, like you know, like you've seen some better days. Right, exactly. I feel like I need to. Fell off the truck. Yeah. But these are actually really nice, and I might consider wearing those. I think, I think a little steam, and you can smooth them back to where they're supposed to be. Hey, thanks. Sometimes when they're just like, you know, boy, you can't. Yeah, just get another bird. Start over. There it is. So this one's more banded agate than the other one is. Dang, tear it up. Um, this one is still, ugh. Gorgeous, and they have some <laughs> weight to them. So I thought they were gonna be heavier, but they are pretty light. But for clip-ons, I think. Yeah, this is interesting. They knew what they were doing. Whoa, this is interesting. Um, yeah, it's like a copper, copper. Is ring. it even a ring? It looks like it maybe came off a cigar or something. You're silly. I'm just. Yeah, saying. I think it's a ring, and this is beautiful. Holy smokes! Look at that. Looking for any kind of mark on it because. Can you imagine? Yeah, I know. It's like a beast. I'm, I'm going like, to test these. I'm like at Costco and here's my card. Here's my card. Look at my. Look at me. Yeah. Who are you? Ooh, these are post back. Interesting. They kind of match the necklace. I want to put that in the test pile because it was not magnetic. Maybe it's missing something right here. Maybe this is the edgy look that it needed, but this matches the necklace that we got before. Yeah, I know, right? Ooh, got some what dyed howlite. Uh, I'm looking for the mate. The mate to it, dog. This is just silver tone. You can kind of just tell by the way it looks sometimes. Anyways, silver tone and. Those look like marcasites, but Let's see if it has a marking on the inside. Get your loop. Get your loop. I said you got your loop. I know I do. Sometimes it's easier to see on um, the camera. Yup. My fingers are filthy. I don't know. I don't see anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and test it. The old test pile, doog. This is adjustable. I was really, I saw the pictures and I was like, oh yeah, we got some silver. But this is for sure just costume. Dyed how light. I mean, that's what I literally get for purchasing a... Higher end box? No, oh. a costume thing. If I if I were to order a sterling silver lot, oh. I'd be disappointed if I got a yeah, lot of costume. You still cross your fingers and hope nobody knows. Yeah. Just throwing it in there. Yeah. These are beautiful. These are gorgeous. I love a pop of color. Very southwest. Very fun. All in all, I'm not mad though about this lot because um, there's a lot of really good items in here. Like this is cool. It's made to look like onyx. Um, and it's just silver, so silver tone. faux onyx. Phonics. Phonics. Hooked on phonics. Hooked on something. Keep yeah. buying all these boxes. I know. I'm just I kidding. am. I got a problem. Um, and this is the other one to this one. So you remind me of Gladiator. The shields. Yerp. Ooh. Hold your breath. I don't think it is. It's nice. Well, is my magnet working? Test it. Yeah, let's test it. For funsies, why not? 
This is one that's meant to look like coral. It is adjustable. I think that it might be, it's dirty for one thing. It's heavy. I don't think it's silver. This is, this is not, but well, it's a costume and it's nice. Ear. This is adjustable. It's random. But, okay. I just realized he asked me to help what? you and I haven't trimmed my nails. Oh my. And they are dirty. <gasps> oh boy. Throw out the video. He's yeah. disgusting. I do it's not represent fine. the Moonstone Mamas. Uh, in any hand way, hygiene. shave or fashion. Yeah. We pride ourselves in having clean hands. I'm just like a hands. No, glorified yeah. roadie. I appreciate your help. This is nice. I like the simple stuff. This is, oh, we found a match. Oh, it's like playing a game. I get so excited. The match it. game. The match game. You sounded Down. exactly like your mom. Sorry. I oh, guess. don't apologize. I'm just, it's just like saying, oh, look, there's a bird. Oh, look, I'm, the sky is a, blue. It's a statement. These are heavy. Which, maybe, did we get lucky, Bob? Wait a minute, who's Bob? Bob Barker. Oh. Why don't you put that in the test pile, chief? These are cool. Oh, my gosh. They, Remember in the drive thru you told me I sounded just like my dad and I was like, what? Yeah. Because <laughs> you did. You sounded yeah. just like your dad. That's, I guess, what you call growing up. Mm. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but I don't think you want that. What is it? Is it a piece of candy? No. It's, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a fiber from one of the feathers. I don't know what it feathers, is. But I don't think you're going to want it. Yeah, because it looks like uh, someone's head hair or something. No, oh, it's not an unboxing unless you get some someone else's dinner. Oh, this is, uh, did I, this is the same, dang it. You Look dumped it on this. top of it. <laughs> Honka. This might be, I don't know. The, I don't even know. This looks like someone put this together. It looks like a heart. Very cool. Did I find a match? Yes. Very cute. Oh. Yeah, it's a pendant. Oh. Right on top of the lattice thing. And these are a match. Dun -na -na. Dun -na -na -dun 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 these are nice. Who knows? But this is a match. I love the pink. These kind of look like strawberry pizza. Strawberry pizza. But they're not. They're cute though. Yeah. This is the other one. I'm gonna or test this strawberry one. cheesecake. Don't say that to me. Look or at this. Everything we've been craving. That's the match of this one. Yeah, but look. Oh, there's something inside, it's like an oyster. Something inside. That's not supposed to be there. Yeah. You want to get that out yeah. before I oop, tear just... it up? If you can get it out easily, I'm going to be kind of no, upset. No, it's not easy, but I don't want to yeah. force it. I don't want to. I'm going to test that one. It's not you. I can't force your love. Oh, man. I just got to dangle. This is cool. Cookies. Yeah. Cream, I was going to say dessert. Yeah. Yeah. That's how we met. I just put dessert out. No, we actually met at Chili's on a blind date. This is dyed highlight, but it's nice. These are cute. I thought that I had the match. There's the match to this one. This is cute. This is the match to this one. And what did she win? Match. 
Okay, well, guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm just going to be putting together these, which I obviously can multitask and do. These just appear to be silver tone. I'm going to run a magnet over it. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. Um, if you have any questions about any of the items that you see, um, feel free to send us an email. Our email is always in the description box down below. And shameless plug, we do have an Etsy shop, the Moonstone Mama shop. That is also listed in the description box down below. Um, so hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys subscribe. Hit the bell that lets you know whenever we go live um, or upload another video. So um, make it a link. Share it on social media. Yeah. Go nuts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Until next time. Bye-bye, guys.